on beef, we gon' live from receipts. The reap on silent, I barely can sleep. Hop down our two doors. These niggas they sloppy, they move slow. Uh, Johnny they flood in my mouth, my two frogs. I keep catching them plays like holy oh, oh. Big old glass seen under the stairs. Gonna make a deposit and put in the air. I'm a real homie, put that in my air. Shopping my line in my bitches Chanel. Hey, if you don't know that song, O B and J and J the Young I don't I don't even know what the fuck that shit called. Oh, big old Glock. Or big old, I think it's big old. I think that's what this song is called. But like, damn, man, Jay the Young passed away. This shit hurt my heart, because basically when I found out about him being a young boy, if you don't know about Jay the Young, and a lot of people say he's an upcoming artist, I feel like he been made it, like he had prominence. Sure, mainstream, like I feel like he mainstream, though, in my fucking opinion. Yeah, he don't get the coverage of a young boy and maybe a Fredo Bang, if you will. But like, I feel like he mainstream, though. I just think like he need that one song. He needed that one song to really like, Push him overboard, especially if you consider that. If you think Young and Ace, because I view them kind of like as the same level in my fucking opinion. But like, um, if you view Young and Ace as mainstream, then yeah, JD Young is mainstream as well. Shout out Young and Ace, by the way. But we ain't here to talk about that. Man, JD Young, bro, this is crazy. Now you already know I do my little soliloquies. I ain't gonna do this shit. You already know what's always happening. It's KA. We back in the stand care show. Goodie sleep with a cut up a throne. You know, then they go on a ton. All that other YouTuber shit they always ask you, you know. All that other shit. We ain't do these for these type of videos. We just here to talk about this name. So like I was stating beforehand before I went on a little run on sentence. When I found out about NBA Youngboy around like 2017, 2018 time, I think. Yeah, 2017, 2018. Yeah. I found out about Youngboy. Uh, basically when Youngboy was going crazy, especially with his 38 baby tape. Like that's when uh, JD Youngin popped up. Like Forever 23. Thank you to a memory. That voice was very distinct. He popped up. He did his thing. Of course, Louisiana. I was really getting into Louisiana at the Well, I knew Kevin Gates and Boosie, but that was about it. But like, yeah, Young Boy popped up. I was paying attention to like Baton Rouge niggas. So JD Youngin will pop up. Up Tech, I fuck with a lot. G Money, Fredo Bang, and various other souls. You know what I'm saying? It popped up as well. And I was paying attention to a lot of those guys. Oh, main music. Shout out main music and tech as well. But I was paying attention to them guys. And like, you know, I started fucking with like J.D. Young. Now, I know a lot of people sending that nigga here because he was beefing with YB. Them niggas been beefing for whatever fucking reason. It is what it is. I fuck with them. I, I fuck with J.D. Young. I still listen to that music. Didn't give a fuck he was beefing young boy. That nigga should go hot. Like, especially if you do like that Louisiana sound. Especially like the way the beats for certain, Louis, the way they pick beats, they have that distinction. Like, yeah, this nigga from Louisiana. Before you hear that nigga talk, he's like, yeah, this nigga from Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Sherwood Marty and Sherwood Flame. Like, I, I was fucking with a lot of niggas. But anyway, besides the point. Yeah, but I, um, you're going to like this nigga in general. You you will like in general. But like, I heard that shit was, was fucked up. First of all. Man, to, I don't know where he was at, but, like, for you and your dad to get shot, that's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. I mean, let's just read the article before I get... Before I get into this shit, man, I can only listen to J.D. Young. I was a fan, like, this nigga. I didn't listen to his last project he dropped, and it's crazy, too, because I swear he just got out of the feds, too. He was locked up. He got out, like, a month or two ago. He's doing his thing about he's doing music. He was going crazy. I was like, okay, hopefully he don't stay out of trouble. I always say it, like... Him, young boy, Kodak, certain niggas that just always get in trouble. And it's just crazy that he has passed away, man. My condolences to his family's friends, of course, the fans. I'm a fan. I'm just saying. Man. That's so crazy. My, my dude, bro. Like, I ain't know this nigga from nowhere, bro. But, like, I've been fucking with, with his music for years. It's like, yo, it's like a piece of you gone. Like a partner, you know what I'm saying? Is that like when you call your partner on the phone, y'all chop it up. Yeah, I ain't gonna hear from my partner in a while, man. Like, it's it's kind of crazy. But let's just read this article before I really get into my thoughts about this shit, man. So, it was stated that the rapper was shot alongside his father and rumors have begun to go rampant. It was, at one point, his sister was um saying, no, he's still fine for his life. He has not passed away. Stop publications from posting this until we got the confirmation that he did pass away, which is crazy. Imagine going that. They said his father is in stable condition, so hopefully he is well. But anyways, let's just keep reading. Troubling. I hate when they do shit. Anyways. 
Troubling news has begun to make its way to social media about rapper Jay the Youngin. The Louisiana native has made headlines in recent years due to his string of run-ins with the law and good fucking music. Get that fucking right. But this time is been is being reported by multiple outlets that Jay the Youngin has been injured during a shooting. You couldn't just say he has gone shot. Sorry. Let me just read it. Details regarding the incident are scarce at the moment, but say she's reported that they've spoken to sources that have allegedly confirmed this information. After believing that the situation was a critical one, my mixtapes returned to report that uh, Jada Youngin allegedly died from his injuries. That has not been sustained at this time of the publication, but, but it has been confirmed at this point. But Louisiana rapper Jada Youngin and his father were allegedly shot today in their hometown. Say she's reported he was transported to a hospital on a helicopter. Close sources told us he wasn't breathing at the time. As the story develops, prayer hands emojis. Jada Youngin's fans have taken to social media to grieve the Southern star, but his team has yet to speak on the controversy, nor has information regarding the rapper's father been shared. Well wishes and prayers have poured in, and the rumor about his death has, has run rampant as condolences are already being offered. That's about it so far. With that being said, man, like I'll be saying, like, uh, academics, I listen to academics. He had an interesting take on this. And I would like to say that I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. Oh, okay, this was the problem. Yeah, he is. Yeah, that he's passed away at 24. Yeah, okay, this is the problem. Sorry. So it was outside of his home when he was shot just before 6 p.m. Police reportedly told the outlet that a victim has been transported to a local hospital by someone at the scene while another critically wounded person was treated by paramedics before being sent to hospital as well. It was speculated that the second victim was the rapper's father, but that has yet to be confirmed. J.D. Youngin reportedly underwent surgery and suffered severe blood loss, and it was sadly widely reported that he has since passed away. He was 24 years old. My nigga forever 23. So TMZ also shared a video showing the outside of Jay's home where they're shooting. He was at his house. Oh, that's fucking crazy. And according to the out... What, did he go back home to his like original crib, or was he just there? But... There was another incident that caught attention to the throat. So I'm guessing that I don't know if niggas was spinning for him or what, but other shit was going on. I don't know if his if his peoples went to go spin the other people who allegedly did it. I don't fucking know, but they're saying a lot of shit was going on. That's what I'm reading here. Man, that's crazy. I'll my dude, bro. Like, it's just crazy. Like, again... Academics, like I was saying, academics had an interesting take. Like, um, these guys who, again, you're from the block, you know, you used to do what you got to, you used to do what you had to do, and now that you're a rapper, you're you're recounting or retelling these stories of bullshit you was doing doesn't mean that, that you're doing it now. But with that being said, uh, oh, I apologize for your audience very early in the morning as I'm recording this. I know I'm a day late. I should do it, but I had to do this video. Um, as a rap or you retelling your stories and a lot of these niggas is real like at least the newer crop again we we have some fake niggas in the music in the street but the newer crop of uh gangster rappers is our real push i see as an example but with that being said um this man right we don't know what beef he really had i don't know if he was just like visiting his old home if that was his home at the moment we just seen like roly bands pass away he invited the ops to his fucking residence and like, this is just, I don't know if they knew where he was at. And it's like, again, I understand rappers don't want to walk around with security like that. But I don't even think this was the case of he needed to. I just think he really had beef with niggas. And that's what I really think it is. I don't think it was like no jealousy shit. And I'm just speculating at this point. So don't take this as fact. I just really think he had beef with niggas. And niggas did what they did. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I feel what happened with this shit. It is sad. Because he's an artist, and especially he just got out, like, he, and again, that video didn't come out because I was fucking late on it, but, like, when he did get out, I did make a video, and I'm like, bro, I want this nigga to stop getting in trouble, bro. You, Kodak, young boy, like, y'all niggas just gotta stop getting in trouble, focus on the music. We know y'all street niggas, y'all hunting, nobody is questioning y'all gangster or your streetness. We ain't questioning this shit. Like, I always say, why the fuck these niggas have guns on them? Because they might have beef in the city. They might go somewhere. They might have issues with niggas. Niggas might just be upset 
that they fucking Jada Youngin has more success than them and they're rapping or doing whatever and they're upset and that just fuels their anger if they already had beef with Jada Youngin. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers might get DMCA for this shit, but I ain't gonna lie. But with that being said, um, yeah, it's just fucking crazy at this point. I mean, my black ass gonna get DMCA for that. Watch, I upload this shit like, yo, what the fuck you playing? But anyways, with that being said, bro, it's just fucking crazy, man. R.I.P. my nigga, that's all I could really say. Damn. I just been listening to this nigga for so long. It's like, damn, bro. Like, you know, like, niggas on the streets. But, like, that's fucking... Hey, man. I appreciate it, young man. I can notice this to his family. As more information comes out about this, I'll, I'll be here reporting this shit. I'll try at least. Long time, but... I right, bro. Shit, that's all I really gotta say, man. But, hey, what do y'all feel? Will y'all fans of his put that in the comments down below? What's his favorite song for, for y'all? And like my said, my condolences to his friends, family, and the fans. RP my nigga tw 23, forever 23, you hear me? And yeah, you know what it is. I'm gone. Aye.